メタルで未展開で模擬戦なんだよ Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today we're gonna be building the real great Gundam X Gear. So, if you want me to do a XG comparison between the RG and the XG, I would just say though, the XG one, I don't think I can compare anything except articulation because the version that I bought, if you watch my channel very in the very early days, you know the XG x g that I review is actually in Toramza mode which means I cannot compare the color the only thing that I can compare is the articulation and the problem is I don't even want to take it out from my shelf because we all know XG x g waist joint is crap and with a like with a slight shake the like the two blades on the waist is going to be falling apart and i just hate to put it back over and over and over and over again and it will piss me off so i figured it out i'm not going to do a comparison but anyway that's not the point so let's look at the size so the rg techniques the articulation the finishing product and then at the other side we have some actions we have uh shooting we have the knife uh the all the blades is actually by a chrome plated Silver, chrome plated silver. Yes, it's a pretty good thing. And you know, let's just start the unboxing process right now. Let's start checking the unboxing. So first, we're gonna quickly flick through it. So we have some introduction about the Xshear at the top, and then let's just quickly flick through it. Ah, this is the weapon introduction. So as you can, if you be watching the double series you know the extra is famous of the seven sword and yes they're exactly seven right there of course and then now let's look at the actual weapons so here I show you how to open the cockpit and how do you take out the gn drive and then now at the back we have some decals to put on not it's not it's not that much actually I think I think it's pretty fine. It's not that much. Right now, let's take a look at the runner. So D two runner. So this is the GN drive with some part. This is for the legs. This is the arms part, and this is the arms. This is the legs. This is the knees. This is the legs again, and then I don't know the other. Oh, this is probably the feet. Yes, this is probably the feet. This is a F runner. So F runner is mostly about the inner joints. Uh, we have the blade, we have the shield, we have sh uh, the, the 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 sword, the sword thing, uh, the shield of the, the part of the shield from the sword. Yes, and then um, we have some part for the legs, and then this part I believe this is the waist part. And uh, what else we got? We got the handles. Handles, we got some hands option at the top here, and then the shoulder part, and then the shoulder clip. This is a D1 runner. So we got the waist part, the torso, the, the outside of the shield, and then legs part, arms part, as usual. And then we have two E runners. So they're exactly the same, if I can just remove it, yes. They're exactly the same. So first we got the beam sabers or the beam daggers, and then we have the handpiece armor here. We have the legs part here, we have the legs part here, and then we have the gen drive and then the antenna. So B part is just the advanced MS joint. This is the A runner which aka the most colorful runner in the in all the gunpla history so we got the torso piece uh, we got the torso torso yellow part here we got the gen drive we got the shield we got uh what else we got we got the shoulders and then we got the feet and then we got some part of the waist as well this is the C1 runner. It's pretty colorful as well. So all the GN drive, all the GN condenser is green. And then we have the head part here. We have the head part here again. We have the GN drives here. We have the beam savers effect part at the bottom. And then we have this one. So this this one here right here is a little bit special. So it's actually the uh, GN transmitter. 
I believe is called the transmitter tapes. The transmitter tapes of the XSO, uh, so those tapes is laying out on the legs and on the shoulders. And then next one, we're gonna be need to be very careful. So this is the chrome plated silver blade. So we got the large one, we have the short blade, the long blade as well. So be careful when you cut those out, you don't wanna scratch it because once you scratch it, you can't paint it back. Lastly, we have uh, such a long time haven't seen this. So it's a very small decal sheet. The last time that I have a, such a small decal sheet is every Zaku that I ever built. Okay, the last time that I have this kind of small one. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Look at this. So you don't you won't get a headache on uh, putting on too much too much decals. Now you can you know take a time to relax. It's very simple, but it's quite small. So make sure you don't over over you uh, like over take it out. Don't take too much. And anyways, guys, we're well, gonna see you guys at the review. Review of the RG extra so this is the finishing of it. So of course you might ask, uh, why don't why don't I get the third party at the Avalanche X Share expansion set? The third party one I think is from the uh I don't remember the B uh I, I don't remember what's that called? BT BTS, I think it's from BTS, yes. Last time I got one for my Mark II, it was for the G Defense Armor and the Flying Armor. Um <clears throat> So the reason I don't get that is the third party I experienced last time that is actually pretty hard to snap up and I don't want to damage the mobile suit. So overall, I would say this uh, without those, you know, third party thing, this kit is a solid kit and I pretty like it. Like the part is, uh, it stands incredibly well and I absolutely love the, you know, the unique style of the extra, you know, extra is very famous of uh, having a lot of swords that can pull out anywhere and then, you know, slice the enemy. It was very cool. Like since the first time I watched the Gundam Double War, I absolutely love the extra. And <clears throat> I, I pretty much think 
like I pretty much think if you're a double O fan, this is a must buy. And I think this is pretty solid though compared to a lot of RG's frame. This is pretty solid. And you know, let's get to the details as I keep talking about the Gampla. First, let's start with the head. So the head is a very, you know, a very classic X-Shear head. Of course, there's no, you know, uh, difference between XG and RG. Yes, there's a difference. So at the top of the head, you can see there's some kind of little tape here. Uh, is actually, I, I must say though, the tapes for the X-Shear, like for example here, uh, the back of the hand, the shoulders, this is all very hard to bend and very hard to apply. So you might have to, you know, borrow a super glue. For example, the head is very hard to, assemble the tape in the head so i actually uh super glue the super glue this kind of you know gn gn the gn transmitter first i glue it on the head and then you know assemble it so it will make it easier otherwise you have to bend it a lot of times just to get it right uh, overall i think the head scale it looks pretty fine and the details are pretty pretty good as well as you can see it gives you the yellow the yellow parts of the head as well the yellow part of the head make sure you push it all the way in otherwise it will fall out and the articulation of the head is up and down and then you know 360 as well the antenna is pretty sharp and pretty thin so please be careful when you move it you don't want to break it although there is a spare antenna in the kit now let's talk about the torso of the torso so the torso there's a little the small joint here so you can move side to side on the torso although it's pretty hard to move so uh, please be careful when you turn that and there's the small antenna at the side here which is yellow that you can move and you know uh, you can you can put it back and then or you can extend it like this uh, at the middle of the chest here you can see there's a sticker in there saying that double o blah 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 something 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 like that i can't quite see it because this word is too quite small so basically it's the words that we, that you will see in the anime when whenever the extra uh, lights up from the pilot and there's a cockpit open of course it's pretty simple just pull down and pretty much done and then you can see the cockpit there there's actually nothing in there <laughs> because it's, a, it's an rg what do you expect and overall i would say though the color separation on the chest is doing a, such a good job and and i actually pretty like the amount of decals that it's giving because it's not very messy like the unicorn series and it's actually back to the very basic part where you know decals is a, a an extra layer of detail instead of just overwhelming like for example if you watch my banshee review before you know how i you know you know how i fire about the fire about the decal thing because first it's annoying to apply second it's way too much and it's kind of messy but this time actually it gives it gives a very clear feeling and of course the torso because there's no interruption it can move 360 as well so it's a very free so it's a so so the articulation is pretty free next up i would say the only parts of the gunpla is the arms and the shoulders so the arms of course you can bend up pretty high and then you know there's an extra joint there's an extra joint down on the hand here that you can move of course you can move the hands as well first the shoulders it can move up and down and then you know the whole arm is able to lift up 90 and then you know put it down as well and then now at the back of the shoulders we can have we do we do have the uh, beam sabers for you to move around and i must say though before i move uh, before i move down to the waist part i forgot to mention about it the shoulders is extremely unstable every time you pull too much it will pop out so please be careful when you moving around and the arms obviously can move to the front and whenever you move the arms or the hands the the little piece on the torso here will move together as well i think this is a pretty nice attachment and by the way the parts on the arms is pretty easy to fall out so my recommendation is push as hard as you can without breaking it okay but i gotta say though this arm looks way it looks way better than the xg right now let's talk about the legs part so first uh the front waist is movable is pretty but it's pretty rough so please be careful when you turn it the back waist can be moved as well and the dagger on the top can be moved as well side to side as well and then we have a little spot on the side skirt here that for you to put in the gn long sword and the sh and the short dagger i think and then the legs can be moved to the side kick to the back you know kick to the back kick to the kick to uh kick to the back kick to the front and then you know when you when you turn when you bend the legs you can see this you know hidden detail of the thruster in the 
in the uh, kneecaps and then when you move it you can see the GN transmitter will move as well and then once you move it it will retract back as well I think this is a pretty good feature and it's pretty nice and then we can see at the bottom legs here we can see there's another GN transmitter here so the instruction menu told you to bend it to you know um for you to for you to fit in it but the problem is i tried to bend it and it doesn't seem quite well and now it's just strikingly layout flat and then you know there's another part here at the bottom so this little piece of armor here actually can be moved and then turned it back as well there's a little piece of armor here that can move as well and then now no, the feet can move triple parts. As you can see, it can move at the tip of the feet, and then the feet can be adjusted to the position as well. So overall, the feet articulation is is pretty good actually, and I and I pretty and I pretty like it. Now we turn to the back, and we can see the GN drive. So the GN drive actually can be detached, but it's pretty hard to attach back. So I I figured out I would just give up on that part. And then as you can see here, you can see there's a little green green reflection in the GN drive so it's actually from it's actually the the sticker underneath that gives the the bright color and then you know let you see it clearly and I think that is pretty good. I, I think that's pretty nice. And I like it and I like the design like that. <clears throat> and you know you know if you're like professional enough you can actually store light in it but during this is not an mg so don't expect there's gonna be like any turn on the light function or something like that now let's move on to the accessory part so first we got a shield so the shield uh now is the extend mode if you readjust the position it can be the closing mode like this and you know attaching the shield on the gunplay itself is pretty simple there's a there's a little hole on the arms here so what do you do just Find a hole, snap it on, done. This is pretty, this is pretty much how you put on the shield. And then next up, we have the we have the short we have the short dagger, and then we have the long sword. So uh, the long sword will be stored on the left side of the MS. So it's pretty simple. You just find the clip, you just find a joint, and then you push in. So you know, always making this this end facing up to put it on correctly so basically just find a joint and you push in now there you go pretty much this is how you equip the both of the swords and then now for the dagger part because the daggers don't have a handle so they give you an extra one so the this is attached on the weapon holding hand and then we have two options for it, we have the actual beam saber or you have a very short dagger version and then, of course, it came with a pile of vigor, which is very small, so have fun on repainting that. And then next up, our big baby is this long sword, so it can flip out to the front to so re re remade the anime scene, and then now it can move as well. So at the back here, this is the part that where you snap onto the uh, arms joint. It, it is movable, so you can adjust to the position, and then it doesn't interject. It doesn't interject the movements, the articulation of the extra because it got a movable, movable track here. So, uh, it is a pretty good design, and I pretty like it. It's pretty likable. And other than that, we have an, we have a oops, we have an open hand, and then we have the very classic, uh, full movable hand that is pretty much useless, and nobody likes to use them. And then next. And then, you know, lastly, we have like the least important thing is this um, action based connector. May I say to you, though, the RG action based connector is literally like, like I always have to criticize the, how badly they were. They don't stick on the gunplay very well. So I don't really like it. I would just say, I would just phrase it this way. I don't really like it, but I still have to use it because I have no other choices. So this is the other review. Hope you guys like this. I uh, actually think this RG is a very solid build and I really recommend you to get one to try it. It's not really hard to build and it's very small scale. So it is e easy to storage and um, I ex especially like the part, the fact that they use the, uh, the chrome plated silver for the blade and I absolutely love that idea. And um, another thing is it is a pretty easy build. So if you are a very, a person that don't have really much time to build an RG, but you still want to enjoy one, this is a very good one for you. And I, and I absolutely, you know, love the fact that they give you the seven swords back. And uh, if you want to, you know, if you want 
the other version of the extra that you can buy it on eBay. Uh, there's the third party expansion set, but it is pretty expensive. It's about 27 USD, I think. It's, it was about 27 USD. And then the shipping, I forgot how much is it. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, this is very good. This is a very good gambler. I really recommend you to, you know, get one and, you know, have fun with it. But uh, I must remind you, the weapon holding hands, like the 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 hands for the the hands with the joint to you know snap the swords in, it it's very easy to be damaged. So please don't pull out, pull out, put in the weapons too many times because you would damage the hands. Mine has already got a little white around the joint, so you know I'm probably just gonna put it in the shelf and leave it there and then let it hold the sword forever. But Anyway, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you guys in another Gampa review. Bye!